Hello and welcome to May. I hope you're excited about planning for this month as I was not. I think usually I have a very clear idea of what I want and this month I didn't. But I took inspiration from Mermay as it is known in the internet to all illustrators and so I decided to go with fish. Not mermaids, but you know, under the sea, fish are friends. I know koi are freshwater fish and it doesn't really make sense to have ocean coral inspiration images alongside them, but this is a planner and my fish are just their own species and so I'll make sure that they survive in this environment. I'm using the brush Spectra, a default from Procreate and a painting. It has a bit of a watercolor effect that I do not feel like I can control, so it's pretty fun. I'm really taking all the artistic liberty with these just to keep it really simple. If you look at it and you know it's a fish, then it's working. No one needs to know this is an anatomical failure. Although looking back, I probably could have done a bit better, but I also just want to show you how simple shapes can be enough. To create these fish, I basically make a paisley shape or a flattened apostrophe and I let the tail be pretty wavy in three parts with the middle tail being the longest. It's a bit hard to see right now because the contrast in colors isn't high enough, but I fix that later. In an alpha lock, I block in some cow shape, you know, jersey cow shapes in two colors in random places and sizes. I place the eyes closer to the far edges and create that small little line for the mouth at the very tip of the fish. To define the shape a bit better, I used red here and there. Because it's not all outlined, it saves the drawing from feeling very heavy. And some blue adds variation. I was watching some tutorials of Magdalena Dianova on Patreon and how she uses rim light, so I got inspired to add these blue touches on a new layer above. First I paint them in, then I create some sharp edges by erasing parts of it away. To create a bit more depth to the illustration, I added a loose shadow on the layer below the fish, keeping the lighting source consistent, unlike everything else I do. I felt like the water was still looking pretty flat, so to add some life, I added a light spray paint just for added texture. I changed the blending mode to make the color transition also appear more dynamic. I added all the colors and hex codes to my planner and updated my pen colors for the month. You can find the hex codes in the description below. I felt like the fish weren't standing out enough from the background, so I changed their color to white. Now I group all those layers duplicate them and flatten them onto one layer. The quote for this month is, your direction is more important than your speed. I constantly get frustrated with how long it takes to reach goals and see improvement, and I need to be reminded that the journey takes time. As long as I'm not getting sidetracked, I'll be okay. I use the highlighter to create some depth with the typography. And then I added a blue on the orange text to make it look like it's shiny and reflecting light. These small touches just make it look less basic and predictable. Using a highlighter, I added a fish paisley shape and a mouth, which quickly turned into a smiley face that I could not get over. Look after your dinners. 
The highlighter gives me a quick color variation and changing the brush size gives me more control over details. The fins on the side are also like little paisley apostrophe shapes. Since I didn't add any coral, I thought I could take inspiration of the shapes and create something abstract using a brush pen in a large size. I felt the spacing was a bit too tight though, so to create more breathing room around the text, I adjusted the decorative elements around it. Then to add a little more variety and interest, I added these dark dots similar to the textures you find on coral. And with that, it's done. Onto my monthly planning. I had a bunch written down already since my mom is visiting and I want to take her around. So I'm just updating the colors from last month to this month's colors. I had less time this month to do my planning, so I took full advantage of the benefits of digital planning and copy-pasted some of the elements. To add something unique to this page, I created another coral piece with multiple ovals in varying sizes, filling the loose shapes of a circle. Keep in mind, rotating the ovals as they move to the right or left make it look more 3D. With a highlighter, I created the branches. I will not claim to know what it's called. And then I filled in the ovals with a pen color. I felt like another fish would balance out the page. So same as the previous with the highlighter color and then adding some details. Starting off this next page, I wanted to create the pattern that you find in koi fish. I started with drawing a red blob using the pen on its largest size and coloring it in. And then I drew a little on top of it and a little off of it with an orange pen in two places and finished it off with some darker spots. I added some more organic shapes for the titles, overlapping and varying the colors and sizes. I like to separate the weeks of my health tracker between Saturday and Sunday so I get a better sense when looking back if things tend to go awry with my health at a similar time of the week. I fiddled with the placement a little bit and decided to move my big blob to the next page and this time create a blue fish. The footage for this was completely out of focus but he's made in the same way as the others. Using the brush pen on the highest size with downstroke thick and upstroke thin, I filled in some large numbers. They're a little wobbly because they're underwater and not because I'm lazy. <clears throat> yeah. After I created these little impromptu bubbles, I decided to go back and add them everywhere. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Look at this little cutie. Boop. I finished off the weekly layout with some lines and highlighter colors to make it feel complete. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this month's plan with me. Drop a like or a comment if you did. It'll help others find this content too. And I'd really appreciate it. While you're here, check out some of the previous month's themes. If you recreate any of them, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. Happy planning, go-getters!